people who follow the paleo diet have twice the amount of a key blood biomarker linked closely to heart disease, a major study examining the impact of the diet on gut bacteria has found. Researchers measured the amount of trimethylamine N-oxide, TMAO, in the participants' blood. Lead researcher Dr. Angela Giannoni said, Many paleo diet proponents claim the diet is beneficial to gut health, but this research suggests that when it comes to the production of TMAO in the gut, the paleo diet could be having an adverse impact in terms of heart health. We also found that populations of beneficial bacterial species were lower in the paleolithic groups, associated with the reduced carbohydrate intake, which may have consequences for other chronic diseases over the long term. She said part of the reason TMAO was so elevated in people on the paleo diet appeared to be the lack of whole grains in their diet, which may provide a link between the reduced risks of cardiovascular disease we see in populations with high intakes of whole grains, she said. The researchers also found higher concentrations of the bacteria that produces TMAO in the paleo group. Previous research has shown how gut bacteria metabolizes the carnitine and choline in meat and eggs to a toxic substance called trimethylamine, which then gets oxidized in our liver to trimethylamine N-oxide, TMAO. But this research also shines a light on the role whole grains and the microbiome may play in the production of TMAO in the body. The paleo diet excludes all grains and we know that whole grains are a fantastic source of resistant starch and many other fermentable fibres that are vital to the health of your gut microbiome. Because TMAO is produced in the gut, a lack of whole grains might change the populations of bacteria enough to enable higher production of this compound, Dr. Giannoni said. So as you can see, removing whole grains from one's diet may be a risky strategy. Now, more than 34 million Americans have diabetes, and roughly 95% of them have type 2 diabetes. In this new study, researchers examined associations between total and individual whole grain food intake and type 2 diabetes. After adjusting for lifestyle and dietary risk factors for diabetes, participants in the highest category for total whole grain consumption had a 29% lower rate of type 2 diabetes compared with those in the lowest category. For individual whole grain foods, the researchers found that consuming one or more servings a day of whole grain cold breakfast cereal was associated with a lower risk of type 2 diabetes, 19 and 21% respectively, compared with consuming less than one serving a month. For other individual whole grains with lower average intake levels, consumption of two or more servings a week, compared with less than one serving a month, was associated with a 21% lower risk for oatmeal, a 15% lower risk for added bran, and 12% lower risk for brown rice and wheat germ. Now, this study was an observational study, so can't establish cause. However, it did take into account several well-known lifestyle risk factors and markers of dietary quality, and the findings do back up other research. Colorectal cancer is the third most commonly diagnosed malignancy. In this study, three servings of whole grains per day were linked to an almost 20% lower risk of colorectal cancer. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.